I'd like to share with you the absolute coolest thing that I know about our solar system. Most people think the solar system is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and if you're old like me, Pluto, and then the solar system ends. But actually, we discovered that the solar system goes far, far beyond that. Now, just to remind you, the nearest star to our solar system is Proxima Centauri. It's about four light years away. What that means is uh, a photon or a light beam would take four whole years to travel uh, from here to the nearest star system. We now know that our solar system, where the planets are, is about from here to here on this scale, sun at the center. But beyond that is something called the Kuiper Belt. It looks like Kuiper Belt, but it's Kuiper Belt. And basically, a lot of the comets that you know of that periodically come into the inner solar system come from this body of icy and rocky objects called the Kuiper Belt. For instance, Halley's Comet, with a period of somewhere around 76 years, I think it is, uh, comes from, very, very likely, from the Kuiper Belt, periodically coming in. And over time, objects in this swarm of, of small objects out in the Kuiper Belt get perturbed, and they come into the inner solar system, and we see those as comets. Now check this out, the Kuiper Belt on this scale is about this wide, which is actually wider than we see for the planetary area here. But notice this is not a linear scale, right? Uh, this tick mark is 10, this is double that, should be 20, but it's labeled 100. And this is not labeled 200, it's 1000. So this is a logarithmic scale. Every tick mark is 10 times. So this is an enormous distance here, much, much larger than you might think by looking at this image. The Kuiper Belt of objects out there where we have comets like Halley's Comet and other comets coming from is much, much, much larger than the terrestrial center of the solar system. And then we have the Oort cloud, uh, which is even farther out beyond that. Now the Oort cloud, the mind-blowing fact here is it extends about two light years away from the Earth, right? Going almost halfway to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. Now, because that was a logarithmic scale, if you try to draw it kind of to scale, the solar system with the planets would be like a dot in the center of this picture. The Oort cloud would be enormous and totally inconceivable for us to truly imagine, but extends almost halfway to the nearest star. Now, periodically, objects from the Oort cloud and the Kuiper belt get perturbed and come into the inner solar system, Jupiter helps us out by either impacting with these objects, which we can see in this image has happened before, or deflecting them, protecting Earth. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.